guys. This is about the fifth time I've recorded this video, but I'm going to be really energetic because I have worked out what the problem is. Okay, guys. Now, I've been trying out different software for um, capturing uh, video, for capturing video um, from a mini DV or a HDV camera. Tried out lots of independent programs that are built just for capturing. I've tried out Final Cut, and ultimately, my opinion, the best one is in fact iMovie. Why is iMovie my choice? Because it is the simplest, and in my opinion, the most powerful. To capture an iMovie, you go File, Import from Camera. Now it's telling me my lid is closed. Now why is it telling me my lid is closed? It's because I have no camera plugged in. So the next alternative is in fact the eyesight. And as it says, the lid is closed. I'm using a laptop, but I'm, I'm recording through an external monitor. So what you do is that you'd rewind your footage until the moment you want to start, and you press capture. Then when you finish capturing, you press capture, and then when you've got all the footage you want, you press done. Now, iMovie will automatically split up all your clips into independent files. Mm. So I'm going to start with the voice now. Basically, it will split up all your clips into separate files, which is really handy for editing, as I'm sure most of you know. Um, and then what you can do, um, it will, all your footage will be in here. You right-click, press Reveal in Finder, and then it will have all your footage in a folder that you've named. Um, and then you can literally just drag the folder into your project folder for your editing, and then you can put all the software, all oh, sorry, all the video clips into your editing software, and bam, you're ready to go, you're ready to make films, all the clips are separated, and you can keep yourself organised, because that'll all be in order. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys, I think that's a really handy um, piece of software, so look no further than my movie for importing video. What it also does, it gives you an option to import at a lower quality, Reveal in Finder again. I accepted that because I only export at SD resolutions, so it reduced the quality from HD to um, 987, 986 pixels. And if I load up these two clips, ignore the fact they're upside down. Um, um, look at that, a still high quality image. Um, however, the difference is that. It's a few less pixels, but when you're exporting at SD, you won't notice that. So yeah, it's fantastic. Give our review a go for importing media next um, time. So yeah, thank you very much. Dan Allen, Dan Allen Bouncy Castle. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Happy.